Hi, my name is Martha Zink and I'm with Salient Consulting and this is just a quick little snippet for delve into FileMaker 12. I was actually working on a solution and ran into this and I wanted to share it. So it has to do with conditional formatting and the hover state. So let me show you the scenario. Imagine having a matrix of data and, and here I've simplified the layout, but imagine having a project or an account or some, some you know, body of data and there's related data and you have a matrix of, of information. So here's the planned savings, here's the current uh, status of the savings and so on. Well, with the hover state, I get this really cool blue background whenever I hover over it. So it, it makes it very obvious to the user what they're hovering over. Now, I haven't built this out, but what's going to happen is when the user clicks here, it's actually going to take them to the related data. So it's kind of a, a visual cue that there's a button back there. However, I really don't want them clicking where there's no data. So I'd rather these not have a hover state of blue. But hover states can't be conditionally formatted. However, it's important to know that conditional formatting actually overrides a state. So let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to choose these six cells, these six fields, and I'm going to add conditional formatting. And I'm going to say if the value is empty, then set the fill color to white. That's all I'm going to do. It's actually very, very simple. And when I jump into browse mode, you'll see that when I hover over any field that's empty, I don't get anything. However, when I hover over something that has a value, I get that blue background. So I think this is really going to emphasize that here's a button, here's something you can do, versus here, no, there's no action to be had. Um, just an FYI, it is important to, to error trap this on the script as well, because this is still a button technically once I actually make these a button. So I want to make sure that my script doesn't actually take them anywhere if there is no related data. Anyway, I hope that helps and uh, hopefully you can use this in one of your solutions. Thanks.